Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this Crusaders career mode. We are here at the quarterfinals of Super Rugby 2020. Our opponents are going to be Sastrugi, New South Wales. They do have the Waratahs logo, but because this was made before the update, they don't have that updated site. Yeah, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I feel like this is going to be quite a tough match, because normally the unlicensed teams are the ones that give you the most issues. So let's see how this one goes. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the quarterfinal of this competition. Both teams looking to get ahead and advance onto the semi-finals. It's set to be a bruising encounter. Justin Marshall joins me here. Both teams really look up for this match, Justin. Right, so the lineup that I've gone with for this match I feel is one of our stronger ones. We have got the likes of Sione Harvili. He hasn't played in a while. Fedu Douglas hasn't had much game time either. But then we have got the likes of George Bridge on that left wing. We have got Gucci and Ryan Crotty in the midfield. Then we have got Sever Reese on the right wing and Will Jordan at fullback. But we have also got a strong bench for this one. We have got the likes of Luke Romano, Tom Christie. And then we have also got Braden Enor and David Harvelli. I haven't gone with the replacement number 10. Brett Cameron isn't on the bench. And I'm hoping Richie Moanga won't get injured. But I guess we will have to wait and see. The Waratahs are going to be wearing their license kit. But they are still called Sastrugi New South Wales. And they do not have the Waratahs players. Yet, unfortunately. But Richie Moanga is kicking off this one for the Crusaders to get this quarterfinals underway. Hopefully we will be able to win it and move on to the semi-finals. But so Strugi New South Wales won't want that to happen. Oh, Richie Moanga back to his feet. Gets that one. Joe Mooney now goes to Sione Harvelli. Good you. Out to Ryan Crotty who's already up the middle. He has been ankle tapped. He tried to find someone on his outside but unfortunately no one there. And George Bridge has tackled their winger into touch. Or maybe it was their number 13. But I have to say that Waratahs kit does look good. I am used to the normal um, light blue and white of Sestrugi New South Wales. So it is good to see them in that Waratahs one. Unfortunately though, that one isn't as good to see, although we have actually retained it. So we'll take that back. Richie Moanga now goes to Goodju. One more out to Ryan Crotty. Goes to Will Jordan. One more to Sever Reese, who steps on the inside. Sever Reese, and he has got the pace, and he scored the try for the Crusaders to open up this quarterfinals match. He's been scoring throughout the regular season, Sever Reese, so I thought he would have a decent chance in these finals games as well. Bryn Hall goes out to Richie Moyer, one more to Goodhue, goes to Ryan Crotty, goes to Will Jordan, draw and pass, Sever Reese through a gap, steps as well, and makes it over the try line. Richie Moyer now lining up this kick, hopefully he will be able to get it. I think that is pretty good from him. So because of that now, seven minutes gone and the score is 7-0 to the Crusaders. That is a very good start to a quarterfinals match, that's for sure. Hopefully it can continue throughout though. We will need more points on the board, I would think, if we do want to move on. It is then number 10 kicking off for Sistrugi New South Wales. It is taken by Bryn Hall, but he is driven backwards there. We have still got that ball, and they don't actually have a fullback, although I'm Scott Barrett, so I won't be kicking this, but if we can use our backs here, we could get into quite a bit of space. Good you now. Goes to Sever Reese, and he's got to get a second Sever Reese. Surely no one's going to catch him from here. The number nine is trying, same with their number ten, but they're not going to, and Sever Reese puts the ball down behind the post, and that's the second of the match for him. Is he going to get a hat-trick in this quarterfinals? Maybe. He is a beast, Sever Reese, and he has continued to score tries for us. That was just a good backline move in there. Good ball from Good Hugh. A lot of goods in that sentence, but Sever Reese has got good pace as well, and he is able to get to the try line. Richie Moanga now with another kick straight out in front. That one should hopefully go over. I let it go past just a couple more times. Just trying to get my timing. I didn't have the best timing, I believe it was, in the last Crusaders career mode episode. So I just want to make sure I have got it for this finals match. It is their number 10 once again for Sistrugi New South Wales kicking off. Bryn Hall takes that well. Once again, he is tackled by the number 12. It is going to be Sione Harvili playing halfback. He will be glad to be back in the red and black. He hasn't had a game in quite a wee while there. Good you is tackled by their number 13. And they were in the ruck very early. So Strugi New South Wales. But they weren't quite able to get it. I feel like, do I call them the Waratahs yet? Joe Moody has kicked that one. And it's actually a very good kick from Joe Moody. Putting them under pressure. I will keep calling them Sestrugi New South Wales. Since at this stage they aren't licensed. Bryn Hall makes the tackle, but he has kicked it back downfield. Cody Taylor's got that. Everyone's offside, and he has been all oh, choke slammed. Cody Taylor there. 
That was a very big shot from this Astrigi New South Wales player. And I think from here I am going to be taking the three, although we are winning this match comfortably. But it would be good to have that extra three just in case they do start to make a comeback to Astrigi New South Wales. And that one has gone straight down the middle, so now the score is 17-0 to the Crusaders. And I have to say, this match has started a lot better than I thought it would. I feel like sometimes the unlicensed teams, they do, they either play very well or play very badly. And at the moment, it's the New South Wales. To be fair, we haven't given them the ball. And that is why they haven't really had a chance to see if they are going to play well or not. Our forwards have been doing very well on the breakdowns, keeping us the possession. Sione Arvelli now goes to, unfortunately, Sestrugi New South Wales now have the ball in hand. Barrett makes the tackle though, back to his feet, not quite. Now they are getting one of their first attacking chances. Fedu Douglas makes the tackle. And that looked like it was going to be Matt Todd's ball, but not quite able to rip it away. And number five now having a run, tackled by Sione Arvelli, back to his feet as well, but just... Once again, not quite quick enough. He is facing backwards there. That's not what you want. They're still facing backwards here, Sestrugi New South Wales. This is not what they will be wanting. They do need to score very soon if they want to get back into this match. Joe Moody makes the tackle. Scott Barrett in there very early. Rips the ball away. Goes to Matt Todd now. Goes to Richie Moinga now. Our back line's looking rough. And Sestrugi New South Wales have got the ball back once again. And Matt Todd not quite able to rip it away. He just doesn't quite... Richie Moe, you're not allowed to be there. Right. Oh, Crotty making the low tackle, but they're number seven now driving. Joe Moody back to his feet, though, and rips the ball away. White lock goes to Richie Moe. We don't have a winger on this side. He's gone on the inside to Goodhue. But we have been tackled just outside our own 22, and I feel like the smart option here is to kick this one. Bryn Hall will be able to get some good metres. Their fullback wasn't as deep as possibly he should have been. And what is he going to do with this? He's kicked it straight back down the middle. I think that's going to be good use ball. No, Cody Taylor's got it once again. And he has tried to fend, but he has been tackled by their number eight, I believe it was. Sione Arvili now playing halfback. Goes to, oh, he was in our back line and he has got that ball now, the number four fending. But Ryan Crotty makes the tackle. Us, the Struggy New South Wales going to be able to get a try before the end of this first half. That is what they're trying for. Matt Todd, once again, just not quite able to get it. Normally, he is pretty quick in the breakdown, Matt Todd. But in this game, he has just been half a step behind, unfortunately. He has made that tackle, though. Back to his feet, but just, once again, not able to get the ball. Alan Ella. Oh, it's Michael Ella. I always call him Michael. No, I call him Alan. But he is Michael. Is anyone confused? Tell you what, that's a good run from the number two. He is still shunting people off, but Whitelock makes the tackle there. It is the halftime siren. And I was saying how they haven't had any of the position. They're starting to build it up a little bit now. Is that our ball? Not quite. They have had it for the past about 10 minutes since getting that interception. That is a good tackle from Fetu Douglas back to his feet. But not able to get it. I need to come up with a new sentence to say when that happens because at the moment I am just a broken record and Richie Moinga, what a tackle that was. He was half lying down Richie Moinga but got back to his feet to get that one. They are getting close to the line. Matt Todd tries to get that one. But we still haven't got the ball. So Strugi New South Wales, this is great ball retention from them. And that's going to be a try as well. So Strugi New South Wales, you've got to say they deserved it. 15 minutes of attack. And they finally broke through. Dane Porter is the man who scored the try. And the Crusaders look a little bit rattled after that. They're thinking, what do we have to do to get that ball back? We just couldn't quite get it. Maybe should have been trying to just drive over with the forwards rather than contesting. Might have been my downfall there, but I thought for sure we were going to get it back at some stage. And unfortunately, that double tackle meant that he was able to drive over the number, I believe he was 11. But Martin McCurdy, the 88 rated number 10, is going to have this kick, so he shouldn't have any issues. And I don't think the Struggy New South Wales are out of this match yet. It's always the way, isn't it? I jinx it big time when I say they haven't had any possession, so they haven't been playing very well. And then they just hang on to it for the last 15 minutes of that first half. Crusaders, they started well in this one. But the question is, are they going to be able to end the match well? Territory, well and truly, out of their favour. Only four handling errors, which probably isn't too bad for us. A penalty conceded, that could be the difference between these two sides. Definitely, if the Struggy New South Wales want to hang on to the ball like they did for that last 15. It is going to be them kicking off though. So they will want to retain this kick. So I would say he will go short here. He's gone, probably I'll call that medium. Whitelock takes that one, but he is tackled by their number 12. 
And are they going to rip it away straight away? No, we have kept that one. We've done well. And I don't think kicking it back to them would be a smart play here. Cody Taylor goes to Goodju, goes to Ryan Crotty, who tries to offload to Seve Reese, But once again, it's a mistake. And now Sestrugi, New South Wales on the counter. But Whitelock able to take it back. But it has gone to Goodju. And our back line has decided to go to sleep by the looks of it because nothing is quite working for them at the moment. I'm going to have to kick this one away. I said I didn't really want to. Bryn Hall with a good kick downfield. And it is going to find touch. Yeah, at the moment, the back line just doesn't quite want to get themselves set. So it is going to be very interesting to see how the rest of this match goes. Or oh, is that going to be Scott Barrett's ball there? No, not quite. They have kept that one. So Strugi, New South Wales, they are using their backs now. He sold the dummy to about three people there. They're number 13. It was a bit cheeky. And number nine now going out to their number four. I am tackling thin air a couple times at the moment. Whitelock not able to get that one. But yes, the Strugi New South Wales protecting the ball very well. So I will just drive the forwards in and that is a better tactic. We have got that ball back straight away now. Right, what way do we go? I feel like we've got more men on this right hand side. Bryn Hall got stage fright by the looks of it. He wouldn't do anything. And now we have lost the ball. I wasn't even able to add men to the ruck there. That was strange. I think I waited a little bit too long to send it to the right. And because of it, like, he just, yeah, he just froze. He didn't know what he was doing, Bryn Hall. And unfortunately, once again, mistake after mistake is what has cost us games in the past. And this is a game that we don't want to lose. Because if we do, we are out of this um, Super Rugby competition. And I feel like only losing one game during the season to then get knocked out in the quarterfinals. I'm well and truly trying to concentrate on the game at the moment. That is why I'm not quite able to speak. But yeah, if we were to get knocked out now, it would be very unfortunate. And it is very hot at the moment while I am filming this video. So I'm almost sweating a bit. And I'm not sure whether that's because of the pressure or because, yeah, it is pretty warm at the moment. But we are slowly driving them backwards here. We've got to try and get the ball back. We've put our forwards in, but that hasn't quite worked, unfortunately. So through you New South Wales, they won't mind this one bit. Now they are starting to find a little bit of space, but it's a great tackle from Cody Taylor. We're up to 59 minutes, and this at the moment is defending simulator. Michael L. stealing it back, though. Joe Moody goes to Fedu Douglas. Now we've got a backline movement for the first time in a long time. It's just not quite working, though, once again. And is that going to be Sistrugi, New South Wales? No, it's not. And I am going to kick this one as Bryn Hall once again. That one might go out on the full. No, it is a very good kick from Bryn Hall, and he's almost winning the foot race. And he, if he doesn't win it, good you will. Who is it going to be? No, I changed to good you because I thought he was the better option. And unfortunately, that meant that we just were a little bit behind. But that is a very good tackle. And we have forced them into touch. Now, they are making subs. I should have done the same. But unfortunately, I can't until... This starts up, I think. Yeah, now I can. I will be doing that now. Right, we have made the subs, although they haven't been made yet. Hopefully, off this line out, we can score a try, and then they will be coming onto the field. We will have to wait and see, though. Scott Barrett gets that, goes to Bryn Hall. Goodhue has dropped the ball. And he wasn't one that I subbed, unfortunately, in that situation. Goodhue really needed to hang on to that one. Matt Todd is going to get to his feet and rip that ball away. Unfortunately, he was one that I subbed Matt Todd. But we will see all of the substitutions now. It is going to be Scott Barrett off the field for Luke Romano. We have got Matt Todd off the field for Tom Christie. Michael Alatawa making his way off the field for Tuanga Fasi. Bryn Hall is taken off the field for Mitch Drummond. And we have also got Ryan Crotty off the field for Braden Enor. And also, I forgot about that one, Will Jordan is off the field for David Harvelli as well. And they are all the subs. Oh, I've missed the tackle. As Mitch Drummond, unfortunately, now they're trying to drive a little bit here. So Strugi, New South Wales, but we're not letting that happen. Oh, and he has kick for touch now. That is probably a smart move, and that's a very good kick back to our half of the field. We have to get this line out right, or else the Strugi, New South Wales could be in with a shot here. Dead straight. Is it straight enough for Luke Romano to get, though? He went early, and he has got that one. Mitch Drummond now goes to Fedu Douglas, goes out to Goodhue. The new man on the field, Braden Enor, passes to David Arvelli, the other new man. And is this going to be the match? Has he got enough base? I don't know whether he does. Yes, he does, David Arvelli. And the Crusaders, because of that try, will be moving on to the semi-finals. And it was the link-up of about three of the players who we have just brought onto the field. It started with Mitch Drummond. 
Well, it actually started with Luke Romano. To Mitch Drum and Fedu Douglas, good you to Braden Eno. Passes to David Arvelli, who ran through the gap. I thought he was going to get caught by their number 11, but just enough toe David Arvelli to make it to the line and win the Crusaders this one. Richie Moinga now with this kick. That one should be going over from Richie Moanga. So now the score is going to be 24 to the Crusaders. 7 to Sistrugi, New South Wales for a while. It looked like they were almost going to get back into this one. We have been able to hang on to this lead. And hopefully from now, we will be able to win the semi-final and the final as well. Cody Taylor tackled well. Sistrugi, New South Wales, they won't be liking this too much. I feel like... It would be ultra disrespectful of us to get a bonus point. But at the moment, if we can start to get something going, it could be happening. It's gone to Braden Enor now, who has been smashed in the tackle. We are up to 78 minutes now. Whitelock has seen a gap up the middle, and he's been clotheslined. I think we quick tap this. We just get back to our feet, although I actually should have been kicking for the corner there now that I think about it. But we are going to try and use our backs. Tom Christie goes to Richie Moinga. Quick hands to Goodhue. And we are going to get the four for the match. The quick tap, I guess, was the right option. And Goodhue scores for the Crusaders. And now because of it, it looks like a dominant win for the Crusaders. But there was that middle patch where it wasn't quite going their way. But we fought back hard. And luckily for us, we are going to be moving on. Whitelock takes the quick tap after getting clotheslined. Goes to Tom Christie. One more Richie Moinga. Passes to Goodhue. All very flat passes, I might add. But Goodhue able to get to the line and score the fourth try of the match for the Crusaders. Richie Moinga now with this kick. He is going to try and convert this one and make the score 31-7. to And I believe he has done that. So now the Crusaders, they will be relatively happy with the score overall. 31-7 to against the Struggy New South Wales. The errors that we were making seemed to come right in that last 20. And that was able to get us over the line to win this one. So we were able to score four times in this match. Good you. Sevi Reese got two. And also David Harvelli scored the other. And then Richie Moinga four from four and also got the penalty goal. Which I thought for a while was going to be the difference between these two sides. Porter able to score theirs and McCurdy was able to convert. Then in the possession, it became 50-50 pretty much. At the end of this one, handling error is 10. We want to keep getting that down, but we did have 21, if I'm not wrong, in the last one. Or that might have been in the All Blacks career mode. But nonetheless, I believe it was a high number. But we have managed to get that under control. And luckily, we were able to win this one. Now we get to see who our semi-final opponents are going to be. Oh, and the Bulls were able to beat the Lions, so they are still continuing their winning ways. We haven't actually played them yet. So that'll be interesting. Or oh, when we are playing the DHL Stormers, that'll be a tough match for the Crusaders. Who else has gone through? We will check the competition info and see what is happening. Oh, okay, so the Vodacom Bulls bet the Emirates Lions. The Blues did end up losing to the Hurricanes. And the Stormers were able to beat the Chiefs. So the Hurricanes are going to be playing the Bulls in the other semi-final match. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, I think that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next match for the semi-finals against the Stormers.